That's right, a very special ceremony honoring L.A. City firefighters, a special group of them. And you know, firefighters, they save lives and property every single day, and they rarely get thanked for it because, after all, it is their job. So today was extra special when a business owner whose building was saved by these firefighters reached out to thank them. First, take a look at the fire. We were there on December 16th of last year when a major fire broke out in South Los Angeles. A textile business in an industrial area packed tight with warehouses was burning those flames visible for miles. And with a light wind, the danger to other businesses was a real concern. More than 80 firefighters battled that massive fire and saved those nearby buildings. And that hard work prompted one of those business owners to write the fire chief thanking her for their hard work. And today, take a look. A special ceremony at the fire commission meeting here in downtown Los Angeles, where representatives from the different fire stations that fought that fire were honored and personally thanked by Harrison Carabell, that business owner who took the time to write a heartfelt thank you. I felt uh, uh, compelled to write this letter and to thank the women and men of the LA Fire Department and their courageous work that you really don't realize how dangerous this work is until it personally hits home. Guys are appreciative that someone cares. Um, it's a day-to-day -day that we do. We come out and uh, protect life and property and it's good to get acknowledged every once in a while. I think it's human nature to be appreciated. And as most businesses and public agencies will tell you, when they receive mail, it's usually a letter of complaint. This was a welcome change, and they were very thankful to that business owner who took the time. Reporting live in downtown Los Angeles, I'm Gigi Graciette. Back to you. So nice. Yeah, first responders definitely need to be recognized and appreciated. Thank you so much, mm -hmm. Gigi. What a great moment.